Welcome to Bowser Training Lead Code Solution. Uh, if you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to contact us. And also, if you can read Chinese and you want the latest tech news and uh, re regarding uh, related to interviews, feel free to check out, subscribe to our WeChat uh, right here. And uh, any questions, just feel free to send us an email. So today we're going to actually continue to talk about this this problem course schedule. So we talked about this how to solve it using BFS way. So as you can see, first of all, we build a graph and then we use a queue. So this is um, to find the find the node with no dependencies. Dependencies, and then here is the typical BFS way where we require O V square number of nodes of time space and uh, OV actual spa uh, space here I'm, what I meant is time complexity and uh, and uh, so today we're going to just uh, for the same problem we're just to going to solve it in a DFS way uh, you know, normally those two can be uh, interchangeable for DFS is more like whenever we get a node we just keep whenever it has neighbors just keep going finding it if there's a cycle so when you are trying to find it we'll keep a visited map right so when this node is visited during this iteration and uh, that means there's a cycle for example zero points to one when you when you're trying to visit the zero one so zero is visited one is visited and then you're trying to visit the neighbor and then you find a zero is visited again so that means there's a cycle you should just stop right there or else it's just normally a zero one so you can you should never hit this problem and it will keep track of um, so besides this visit set, it's just for each iteration, we'll have a global like lookup. So that indicates whether this node is visited or not. We have already explored this node or not. Um, so that will give us, I think for DFS, it's more like OV plus E time complexity linear. And the space complexity, if you don't count on recursion, that will be just a constant. Uh, all right, let's code this up. So we just, uh, so this is a BFS method, right? So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to some of the part is the same. So uh oh, I'll just copy paste. So we'll build up the graph and should I do so? So we're going to explore the node one by one. So um, Function called should, should explore how we um, graph. Explore and I'll have a global saying whether one node is visited or not, and I'll have a temporary temporary node visited or not and And of course, the current node. Okay. So if starts or look up visited key. Okay. 
not. For did not explore means there's a uh, loop. So first I'm going to check. If this node has been visited or not. Because we're trying to visit, we just randomly visit it, right? Randomly iterate, um, enumerating this node. Okay, if it's not, This is true. So I'm going to do is for each of the integer neighbors neighbor a one dot get this node. Move nodes somehow visited. Um, so, if I put it this way, visited and visited could be a no. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change it just a little bit. Okay. So that's definitely going to be there. Um, equals to if this equals to true and that means already visited so I, I should just directly return or should not explore this guy's neighbor Neighbor. Turn false. Okay. Or else it means all its neighbors are good and itself not visited. So what we want to do is we want to look up dot put this node to be true and visited that put it in this node. Get his neighbor, and then here when we return true. Okay, so I guess I still have the example ready. So let me just write. Ta da! Thirty seven.
Oh, what am I thinking? Flash map. Okay. True, false. I think it looks correct. So, as we can see, the complexity is actually better than BF, uh, BFS using DFS. Okay, let me just. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.